Okay, now we understand the basic concept of stress and strain. Now let's look at the curve. How do you get a stress strain diagram? How do you get this curve? So there are a number of tests you can conduct to get stress strain diagram. And the most common test you can do as mechanical engineering is called tension test. So this is the one of the most common and most important test. And this test, usually after this test, you can get a lot of information about the given material. Of course, there are other tests you can do. And another test is called compression test. And this test is needed when large and uh, permanent strain is desired and when the material is brittle in tension so if a material is very brittle and when you do the tension test it will just break right away without showing give you a very useful stress strain diagram under that condition you may need to conduct a compression test so for compression test Usually, generally speaking, tension test will give you enough information. So you don't have to conduct compression test. The next test is called shear and torsional test. And from this test, um, you also get a stress strain curve, but it's a little bit different. It's applied, it's aimed to test the material that has a tube or has a cylindrical shape. Um, if you're using a material as the shaft and it is necessary to conduct a shear and torsional test. And under shear and torsional test, the stress and strain is a little bit different. Here, the stress, we use delta. This is a shear stress. And the strain is called shear strain. And we use uh, letter gamma for the strain. And similarly, this shear stress can be calculated as force divided by area. And the strain, um, the shear strain here, it's the angle instead of how the length, the relationship between change of length and original length. So here, let me show you a diagram how shear strain and shear stress is related. Let's see, we have a material. For example, if I, we have a material, we can start to apply um, shear force on top surface and bottom surface. We know this material would deform under this load. Let's use the red color to show and the deformation after you apply the force. So after you apply this load to this material, now the material deforms to its new shape. And the angle here between this blue line and right line here is used theta. And that theta could tell us important information about shear strain. And shear strain can be calculated as gamma equals tangent theta. 
Okay, that's all you need to know about shear.